la mathomo e kitlokwa ka covid 19 re thomile re kwa bare corona the first time when i heard about covid 19 was in end of 2019 maybe around december or so we understood it is from wuhan a province somewhere in china i didn't pay attention that much cuz it, it was december hey mena le sifo benga tlabang ku tsi sifo se livelonke first time when i heard about the pandemic it was a bit scary uma khunywa nge corona benga tse mingcabang u sindoleni ka lena pesheya abe benga thuki kakhulu it was hitting hard Italy, you know, European countries and including America as well. Then I shared uh, this COVID story with one of the group, uh, groups, uh, WhatsApp groups there. They were like, oh, how is this going to affect us in, in Limpopo? Because this thing is for, for people in China. It was unreal. Like, we were asking ourselves, what's this thing? How long will it be? For three months later, when we started hearing Uti, there was a group of uh, South Africans who traveled to Italy and they came back and two of those guys were infected near COVID-19. All at our senses, we started hearing stories uh, in the news, especially uh, WHO trying to tell us how to behave now. <laughs> Everywhere we go, avoid crowded places. Lina laka kina kumujo aramabulana. Idula ender maga limpopo mara kama shomo kimo rabarichi ki bereka olifans fontains kolon sebariki madibato ki bereka wale katichere. Menang koko mashele ni sala enyongani nyaga yame ina seventy nine. Ika malami unogwazi Grace Rapashela ni buya ekz eni. My name is Poppy Tulsi. I live in Phoenix and I'm 65 years old. I'm a pensioner. My name is Meralda and I am an addictions counsellor. Um, I work at Tranquility Rehab and my main job is to help people find a new way to live without drugs and alcohol. We have clients from Soweto, we have clients from Thunder Bell Park, we also have clients from Pretoria. Then the film Tadur Ratombo over Kempton Park Wun Jabatuan Divangadzinala DJ DJ Nipro. In South Africa 2020, around Feb, March, now we started hearing that COVID is at home and there's no vaccine or there's no cure for this thing. Hey, kibile ka chua kudu ka eri kuleo karibari reinama batuwa uvalidi comorbidities. Airi boni, eri chia suyo snacks. I thought maybe I'm going to get sick. I'm a diabetic. I got cholesterol and I've got hypertension. In my work environment where I'm responsible for safety, it wasn't easy because then we were asking ourselves, how do we protect our employees? How do we make sure that they protect their families? How do we make sure that business continues? And then the government was now fully on, on this thing and the, and, and, and the president then announced, which, okay, we need to, we have to as a country, go through e, what you call lockdown. Se si kalagu level five. Si wasladi tindi ni si vale loe. Hey, si bona ngatumsha buya pel. Enem neng muntu lutsanza kam ba kila tindi ni vale ngava ni na na ngan. It was not easy because we're not used to living like that, right? We had to find ways of um, adjusting to that new way of living. I'll say new way of living because you can imagine no movement, nothing. 
Um, the only place you can go to is you know, a supermarket for essentials and then you come back. It was very scary because we just knew that there was a virus. We didn't have as much information. And um, as we're in the service industry, we didn't close down. We worked right through level five. Of which was supposed to be 21 days. 21 days became months and that affected business, our lives. tourism business. COVID-19 is affecting the business of my tourist and Lula, Aya Eco National Park, Unkulumanje and Abo Gogo, Le Mali Lena, Illaswang, my tourist, Go Cook National Park, Nabo as a community by benefit. Before he had lockdown, my wife and I had paid for an overseas trip. We couldn't, and we were worried again for the money that we paid to, to the travel agent to go to Sizoi Tolana because small business was closing down. People lost their income, they lost their jobs, which is not easy at all. Rene Kadumbura, we had to donate our leave days. We were not paid for those leave days to sacrifice so that the business can continue. lockdown, being a bantana banning, being a forty eight. So Sasala almost eight months. Savulan was September. A bantana as young Babui, Natola Bantana Abasha from Goma Kilwan. Babuya Abangani, what to agi Namanji Abagabui Bonk. Nichailing Alindil announcing Lale Langala, Nilale Langala, Banduva Pel. Even, ba pe la lendo aina skazi fusa ikuni kini skazi ngela paso ngiti nige manje kusu vele angti valele loita. And then the government again announced to say, um, you know, we will move to level four, okay? And it was level four, and it was level three. But it, in between that, people people were dying. Oma se se kala gushona bantu la basbati go around our area. Arabele. <laughs> So we did When the second wave came, um, I think it caught not only us but most of South Africa off guard. We then had six positive cases, um, but because we have three properties, we were able to jump in immediately and isolate them. So we isolated them and we did work with them virtually. There was a doctor on call 24 hours a day. He was seeing them three times a day and each and every one of them recovered and were able to go back home. I was going to test 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 positive. Doctor Avitamona Arana Ari Iba stress free Uska Balabala Uska dia in Koso Ugasi Hueu Glo Pila Maraoka Balabala Di Wantuenya Lin Nagi Palago Wala Fa cause the Sikir Diaudimu di hypertension everything yaudim cause over stress Kanetika Toma or legs after five six days Kabaki right it was very sad when I see people fumigating their houses around me and I was very fortunate that I never got to fumigate my own because I never had a COVID case. My grandson who's nine years old, he got COVID and he got it very bad. And so did my son-in-law, him it was also very bad. And then my sister got COVID as well, um, she had to be hospitalized. 
but she lived in Margate and we were here, so she was alone, but friends and that came in and helped her, brought her food and stuff like that. Wang affected her cool, Uma Kutoshona Mungan, Lobisim Joy Lega cool. Quatala was shown a bangan. The my relatives way to a shown a little rural areas. If a male was shown a tree, Banduana, Namag, Lasakala Bonabusish, Covid to call. Israel Ramapos, our Kulumaguti. South Africans, the vaccinator. So the first time when I heard about the vaccine, I was scared because of listening to stories and what people were saying that you'll die within two years. Stories about they'll put a chip into you and like they were, like you're going to become a robot. Can't you afford it? They want to be bus tools. But say, hey, let's see for less. We're not going to be a club. We're not Triple six. Well, in Phoenix, the people are not really uh, want to take the vaccine because they think they're going to die. COVID is a god sickness, and uh, that's why they won't take it. So very what COVID is no, but it's a bad feeling. No matter what na, lem job la ko TV sabo na umkul ka kul. Siti he, I con as ingay kas pumeli legal. Oh, my rural areas. La baning be basho guti bana ngi bai buslab. Moba umma bai buslab bai ufa. But si maybe the government if na gusti treat a song. Government u pila ngi bana ngi gasi chovu asi asibula la si zosala na ban. Moba na utu ne bandu ngi bandu. Ba me mete la la is combat me mete la ba si hambani u chovu. Si na sa kesa pita sa hamba. Eradicate. This distribution of, of, of fake news, there's, there's a lot of fake news, and, and, then, and then most people easily buy into it. How think the statistics are scary, so we need to make sure that we take COVID-19 very serious and make sure that we stay away from fake news. Young <laughs> So you can transist to the My name is Yasin Teba. I am the chairman of the Muslim Association of South Africa. Many know the Muslim Association of South Africa as MASA. Over the past few months, we've been involved in a number of interventions. Uh, to firstly help those infected by COVID and now we're going to the next phase in helping people with COVID prevention. And of course, that's the rollout of the vaccine. We've joined uh, hands with the Gauteng Department of Health with their collaboration and our other partners, uh, including Sabri Chisti, ER24, the Houghton Mosque. We've um, set up a drive through facility in Houghton uh, to ensure that we get maximum people vaccinated. I'm Zain Bobulia. Uh, I'm the acting chief director at the office of the Premier Gauteng. So coming up here to the Houghton Masjid, working with Masa and various others, we've established this site, which is a drive-through. It's one of the first that Gauteng has put up. And in the past week, they've already vaccinated over 5,000 people here. And the main reason of having this is to ensure that everyone has their right to be vaccinated. It's your choice but make the right choice. Vaccinate and be safe. Since I vaccine on my figure, I'm going to be sure to get the vaccine. I'm going to be able to get the vaccine. I'm going to vaccine the vaccine. I'm going to be primary school. I'm going to be able to get the vaccine. But uh, it's okay to get vaccinated. We need to all get vaccinated. We need to ensure that our communities are protected. We need to uh, educate people on what the vaccine is and how it's uh, helping prevent the spread. We need to ensure that we all get vaccinated. We, none of us are protected until all of us are protected. And I think it's important that we make vaccines uh, accessible to, to the public and we make it easy for people to vaccinate. Mm -hmm. 
lapha esikoleni ekhethu lwathi ekuseni ngaya lapha esikoleni ngathola kune kugcwele hayi ngasaba ngoba besengiva ukuthi lento ngathi yabulala ngancanzeka ngaye ekhaya nangifika ekhaya ngihlala hayi ngathi sola ngathi hayi ngincono ngibuyela nami ngingo gonga ngabuyela ke ngaya ngojoba no one wants to get vaccinated if they know they're going to be waiting three hours or four hours in a queue, if they know it's a tedious process to get registered or to get the vaccine. The easier we make it for, for, for communities in public to get access to vaccination, the easier it is for us to uh, overcome this and uh, get to some sort of normality. My brother and sister is in uh, Holland. They, when I spoke to them, they said no, they are going for their vaccine and uh, we should also go for it and we must be positive of everything that's there to be done. Uh, when I went there, the health workers told us, we're giving you a Pfizer vaccine, which is a two jab, one now and 42 days later, you will come back for your second one. And uh, when you have the vaccine, you must not rub anything on your arm and you mustn't sleep on the arm and everything will come right. And you must take two panados or one panado and sleep if you have a little pain. So I went for it and I'm, I'm fine. I don't know if you have a lot of pain, but I don't know if you have a lot of pain. But I'm not 60 and above. We have a vaccine that we have the next age group. So we have 35 and above. When in there, I was part of those, I was excited. Uh, it felt like Christmas or birthday for me. When my mother went for the vaccine, then I considered going for the vaccine as well. So it seems to be um, blocking us now. It's saying that you got the vaccine, the okay. Johnson & Johnson vaccine on the... Today. Yeah. And I've never got it. Because yeah. yes. if you have a look here, it's already showing vaccination history. Yes. Um, it's giving the date, the time yes. and the date that you were yes. here. I was there, but I didn't take the vaccine. I said to them, I'm not happy with taking the um, Johnson & Johnson. Then when I told her, she said, it's okay because I can go somewhere else. So we're going to have to get them to reverse this um, okay. transaction first. Yeah. We're not sure how long it's going to take because this is the first time I've done it. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't get my vaccine at the moment. I'm just having a problem with it. But um, hopefully I'll be getting the vaccine soon. Well, I'm hoping to get this voucher redeemed and I can come back here and get uh, the vaccine. So I'm still, I still have some hope to get this vaccine. Um, the government obviously did explain to us what this is for the best. We, we have to reach what we call herd immunity, where a lot of people need to vaccinate so that we don't transmit fast uh, you know, this disease or this, this uh, virus as, as, as much as possible. That's what we were trying, to, what the governments were trying to do. On Saturday, any layer after registration, although I don't know register, I can't discover the vaccine to Angats too. Don't put the one or I run in the chimbele and the you're welcome, walk in and get vaccinated. I took a Pfizer jab. It was so exciting. I wanted to tell the whole world. The chief had vaccinated. I posted it on all my social uh, media to tell my friends. People started asking questions as if I was the specialist, but I just shared with, with them my experience to say, you know, it was easy. I walked in, 30 minutes I was out. Uh, the injection was not painful. I just felt it the following day in my arm when I was I was exercising. That hey, what's now it? I mean, only to find that oh, by the way, yesterday I was vaccinated. So for me, it was just um, a beautiful journey, and I will encourage everyone to do it. As a personal trainer, uh, I, I've decided to who who to have vaccine. I can't say who. Uh, I was excited. Nigeli never asked. Nigeli scared, but I believe. And, and trust to hurry, again to a right to who he is, uh, especially to protect myself. My wish for people around Phoenix is for everyone to get vaccinated and consider vac getting vaccinated and not be misled with information that people are on social media and stuff like that.
bakhona labantu labo labathi bona bafuna ujovo mina ngibatshela ukuthi sijovile siyaphila i'm healthy and i'm glad i went for the vaccine bathu bathembisa as a whole bathu baraba richi mokidulang hona bathu ba eboni bo kalfanteni bo maibui now is the time ya hore ri lo thaba no mang khonza no mang yesontweni mara ka dogotela nyaya ngoba naye uyasita ababulali bo dogotela baya siphilisa manje uma seba sihlaba oh sifila nje nga any check injection as zanga sakula ai ka skulis eh kuba bonke laba nga jova nabo Ake kolo ni ngabo makelo ane special. Ake kolo ngamu vatu nenginga la vinga. Kwame na food zanga zingebenenginga. I will urge everyone to go vaccinate. Covid is real. We have seen the number of deaths in Gauteng. The statistics are scary. So we need to make sure that we take Covid-19 very serious and make sure that we stay away from fake news. Um, and I'll be honest with you. I never had any. side effects that were of concern i think it was more anxiety more than anything the headache that i had a day later was hey, this thing is in my body and what not but days later there was nothing to you know to be concerned about to say i'm feeling this i'm feeling that i'm feeling this um and i can't wait for each app number two for especially for what was a busa ngarata hape ha hulu ba ba ho ba khothatsa hore ho vaccine My message to people in Phoenix, in the in Durban as well, they should go for it because if we don't want to, we're just spreading it more around the community, to around the people, to the loved ones, and I think they should just take the vaccine and save people and save themselves as well. If we are vaccinated, we will tolerate this thing. Yeah, COVID. These diaries are brought to you by the National Department of Health in partnership with the Center for Communication Impact with the generous support from the USAID.